Now, it was also a busy day inside of the state capitol as the regular legislative session came to a close. Now, the governor set the tone back in January, aiming for major reforms to education and criminal justice. Teach Tree 11's Ian Russell spoke to lawmakers as they spent the last few of those hours and the last few of those bills toward her desk. Hey guys, yeah, a lot of things have happened this session, hundreds of bills, and some of them have really clearly defined these last few months. From the Learns Act to public safety, this definitely will be a session to remember. Or until the regular session of the 94th General Assembly is adjourned, signing on. Months of discussion, hundreds of bills. Countless hours in these rooms, and now it's over. Y'all kept asking, was April 7th the day? And here we are. We made it happen. Uh, it's a good session, very productive session. Massive bills have shaped the majority of what we'll remember from this time. Possibly the biggest, says State Senator Greg Letting, is the Arkansas Learns Act, the bill that's set to change education in the natural state. Those took up a lot of oxygen uh, out of the room, kept lawmakers busy, and unfortunately also kind of slowed down the process. That's one reason we saw such a spike in legislation near the end of session. Another key piece is the Protect Arkansas Act, also sponsored by Governor Sarah Sanders. That's headed to her desk and makes some felony offenses ineligible for early release from prison. I don't think it's any secret that I wasn't supportive of Learns or the public safety bill, even though I liked a lot of what was in them. Um, just ultimately couldn't find a way to to support them. While many bills were intensely debated, some saw even more talk, including bills impacting transgender Arkansans. Lots of unnecessary legislation, hateful legislation, legislation that's going to put uh, a lot of Arkansans at greater risk of harm. Another big topic was reducing income tax, something the governor has called to remove entirely. I think continuing the tax reduction is significant. That's a highlight. That could be something that House Speaker Matthew Shepard thinks would be the focus of a possible special session if one happens. There may be an opportunity to come back in and do some further reduction, not unlike what we've done, uh, what we've done in the past with Governor Hutchinson. Letting says he doubts one will be called, even though he says there's more work to be done. We'd like to see if we're going to pass tax cuts that we focus more on working Arkansans and low-income Arkansans. Uh, we'd like to see uh, we're all about strengthening education. We're just not entirely sure that this path that we took this session was the right way to go. Now, of course, we don't really have time to talk about every single bill that was filed during this session. Otherwise, we'd be here all night, to be honest with you. But all of our coverage of the 94th General Assembly is available over on our website right now. That's THV11.com.